Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. Today we're doing a quick tutorial on Opus Clip. Now if you didn't know what Opus Clip is, it is a generative AI video tool that repurposes long talking videos into shorts in one click. It is powered by OpenAI and it does a great job at making short form content really easy to create. So before I start the tutorial, there will be a link down below which you guys can click on to get a free trial. So once you've clicked the link, you should be taken to a similar page to what I am currently on. Once you signed up, you should be on a similar page to what I'm currently on. And then you want to go ahead and get a link from a video that you might want to clip up. So this can be from a Rumble link, a YouTube link, a Zoom link, a Google Drive link, whatever you want to choose. Or if you already have a file like an MP4, an MOV or WebM, you can just drag and drop it down right here. So I've got a clip of Alex Hormozzi explaining something. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just drag that right here and then drop it. Then it's gonna go ahead and upload. So this shouldn't take too long considering that my clip is quite short. However, if you do have a longer video that it will take a little bit longer, of course. And then once it's uploaded, you can then start to choose your caption and templates. So if we go ahead and have a scroll through here, there's plenty of templates and captions you can choose. Um, there's Mr. Beast ones, there's karaoke. There's deep dive, there's plenty that you can choose from. It's entirely up to you and what you think is best for your video. I do like the emoji caption a lot. So I'll choose this one right here. Um, if you also go to my templates, you can choose a different template um, with emojis as well. Then I can go down here and choose how I want to process my time frames. So if I have a longer video than 26 seconds, you can choose to make it in multiple clips. So again, because mine is short, I will only have one clip. Let's say you had a 10 minute video and you wanted a bunch of clips within that 10 minute video. You can set the time frame here. So if you want to clips at 30 seconds, you'll get a lot of clips out of 10 minutes. And the same thing down here. So you can choose your preferred clip length. So again, mine is under 30 seconds. So I only have this option. If you have anything over 30 seconds, as you can see the other options here, you can choose between these and you can filter keywords. So let's say there's something being said within a clip that I want to filter specifically. Let's say something about a boat. I'll simply just go ahead and type in boat and it will separate that as well within the clip. Once you've done all that, you can go ahead and click get clips in one click. It will then start to process everything and add all the captions that you've chosen. So once everything is processed, you can then go ahead and review your clip. So if I go ahead and click play right here. And so a lot of people, when they, when they want to sell stuff, they talk about the widgets, right? They talk about TSA, they talk about checking their bag and taking their shoes off and who they're gonna sit next to on the plane and the seat and how long the flight's gonna be and the modules. All right, so as you can see, it has captioned my clip that I've put in. Not only that, it has also given me a rating on my hook, my flow, the engagement and the trend as well. So what this basically means is that within the clip that I've just created, it has given me a analysis on what I could do better or what is good about this clip with the hook so if I read this, the beginning of the video effectively caught the audience's attention by highlighting the common mistake of focusing on the wrong details when selling something. So that's the hook. And if I go ahead and go to flow, it has the same thing, same with engagement and trend. And it gives you an overall score on how good your clip is and if it's going to rank or not. So mine is 88 out of 100, which is very high. And of course, if it's green, that means it's good. But do keep in mind that just because your score may not be high or a little bit lower, doesn't mean that it won't go viral. This is just a basic analysis of the clip that you presented, as simple as that. Just because you may have a lower rating doesn't mean it won't go viral, but also having a high score is a good indication that it is obviously a good clip. So what we can also do is if we go down here and click this little purple icon here, it says auto post and scheduler. So what you can do is set up an auto post to post on your YouTube shorts your TikToks, your Instagram Reels, or anything you'd like. Personally, I like to do it on my own schedule unless you have an automation set up. It's entirely up to you. What you can also do is export it as a XML. So what this means is just that your captions will be exported as overlays and you can't edit them. Pretty simple. You can also download this in HD and you can also edit the clip. So this is another area we're gonna have a look at right now. So the cool thing with Opus is you get your own little editing area. So let's say I wanted to change a couple words up or I wanted the clip to start at a different area within the text. I can simply change that by just doing a couple of clicks. I can also change the design of it. So if I go in the top right here, I can generate B-rolls with stock or with AI. That's entirely up to you. I can auto add emojis and change the captions as well. Not only that, I can also add my own logo so no one can take my clip and use it for themselves. So what I'll do is go ahead and give you a demonstration of what the B-roll is like. So I'll go ahead and turn the button on. It's then gonna start generating some B-rolls. Once it's up, I can now go ahead and play the video. And as you can see here, there's some B-rolls that are added to certain parts within the clip. So I'll go ahead and click play. And so a lot of people, when they, when they wanna sell stuff, they talk about 
the widgets, right? They talk about TSA. They talk about checking their bag and taking their shoes off and who they're going to sit next to on the plane and the seat and how long the flight's going to be and the modules and the services and whatever. But people just want Maui. Yes. And so you should be describing the beach and the ocean and the, what they're going to experience the moment they get into the hotel room. So as you can see, they've added bay rolls. Now, whether or not they are the best bay rolls, probably not. Um, of course, you can change them to your liking. So for example, they are talking about checking a bag. So they could be talking about being in an airport. And right here, they have someone uh, drawing a diagram on some bit of paper. So what I can do is click the B-roll here and change it to something that's actually relevant. So I'll go ahead and remove that and type in airport. I'll click search and there we go. So there was, I believe, a line talking about checking in your bag. So I'll go ahead and click this one. And now if I go ahead and click the X here and go back to that clip, they talk about checking their bag and taking their shoes off and who they're going to sit next to on the plane and the seat and how long the flight's going to be and the module. There we go. Now that B-roll makes a lot more sense being within that area. And of course, you can do these to the others as well. What you can also do is change the color of certain text. So as you can see within this text line, there's different colors. So here, as you can see, it says a lot, that's yellow, sell stuff, that's green. You can change the colors if you'd like by simply just clicking on the word or letter, like so, and then I can change it up here. I can also choose to add an emoji into a certain area. So if I click the word, let's say, sell, I can go ahead and go to the add emoji area, add an emoji. So if I'm selling something, I'll most likely be getting money. So I'm gonna search up cash. Oh, actually, let me rephrase that, money, like so. And then I can go ahead and add a money symbol there and then we'll add that emoji. So if I go ahead and play that now. Sell stuff, they talk about the widget. There you go, so it displays the emoji. Now, if we look at the timeline down here, you can also split some certain areas, you can delete scenes, you can change the layout of some scenes as well. You can obviously play the video, adjust the volume, and zoom in and zoom out on your time frame as well. So if you're happy with your editing, you can go to the top right and click save and compile. Now, if we did want to click the video again, you do have to wait for the video to render a little bit, which shouldn't take too long. And then once that's done, of course, you can go ahead and review your video again. Of course, if everything is well and you're happy with your clip, you can go ahead and download your video. I'm now going to go ahead and show you the pricing plans for Opus Clips. So as you can see, there are three plans. There is the pro plan, the starter plan, and the free plan. Regards to which one is right for you, again, it is entirely on your situation. However, if you do choose any of these plans, I highly suggest going with the yearly option because you do save 67% with your annual billing. So if I were to switch this off to monthly, as you can see from $9.50 USD, it goes to $19 USD. So there's a big difference there when it comes to pricing. Now regards to is it worth it or not? So if we look at the starter plan, you get 150 processing minutes per month, an AI animated caption with 20 different languages, AI clipping with a virality score. Uh, you can auto post stuff on YouTube and TikToks as well. You get a powerful editor. You can get rid of the fillers and any silences within your clips. And of course it removes the main one, which is the watermark. So the starter plan is really good if you are interested in Opus Clip and you see yourself using it for an extended amount of time. The pro plan is just a big upgrade. So not only this, you can choose different packs with this plan as well. So if I go ahead and choose, let's go down here, there's a lot of packs you can choose from. Whether you're going to use more or not, it's entirely up to you. I'll stick with one. But here you get 3,600 processing minutes per year and it's available instantly. And you can also use two users within this plan. So you can have yourself and a friend as well use the same plan. You get AI B-roll, you get an input from 10 different sources. You can export to Adobe Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. You get multiple aspect ratios. So if you just didn't want this simple nine by 16, you can get one by one and 16 by nine. You also get social media schedules, up to five brand templates and an intercom live chat support. So based on your situation, if you really did like Opus and you see yourself using this for a long period of time, Pro Plan is definitely the way to go. If you just wanted to start off and see if Opus is right for you, of course, if you've already clicked the link, you'll be using the free option, you can test it out. But if you wanted to step it up a little bit, the starter option. So it's all pretty self-explanatory. So the great thing with Opus, if you were to create an account just now, you can get a free trial for a week with any plan you want to choose. So let's say I wanted to test out the pro plan. I can go ahead and click start your free trial here. So thanks again for watching my video. Hopefully I've helped whether or not Opus Clips is right for you. And I hope to see you guys next time.